Oh, I have to go pick up some, some hair glue. <laughs> Look at me, I got like mixed match socks. Oh, hell no, I'm looking like that one nigga off that movie. That one grown ass nigga with these things in his head. I don't know what movie that is, but I look like that nigga right now. Yeah, don't me a menace having a casting call today. And I'm auditioning, so. <laughs> yeah, just ridiculous. Y'all, I'm gonna write a freaking book because so much more goes into the law of attraction. And you know, like, I be manifesting stuff, but like, for some reason, I feel like there's just something missing, and I think it's fear. I think we all have a subconscious fear of a lot of stuff, and it's time to clear my fears. You know, I fear failing. I do feel fa failure. It's time to rewire my brain, and let's see what that gets me. Oh, I look crazy because I just washed my hair, man. So, it's been a great week. I didn't, I was, I got invited to Janae Ico's after party, but something was just like, don't go. I don't know why. Something was just like, don't go. Like, we ain't got no apartment right now because it's just not feasible. And so we got all our shit in one car and we have this other car. The other car we have is not working. All of a sudden, it will not start. I hope I did not do anything wrong. Is that a Lincoln? But yeah. And, I mean, everything has been pretty good. Like, life is good. I'm blessed. I'm happy. I love myself. It's just like tribulation after tribulation. And, anyways, a lot of shit's popping off again. But, let me roll this up and go check on this boy. I'm gonna... All right. <laughs> Morning errands for me and Bay. Just got our fucking breakfast for the day. So. The coat, my nigga. Got hit by a lot. I just wonder what somebody's gonna get. <laughs> it hurts so bad. <laughs> what is somebody gonna care about my trauma? <laughs> Nobody. I just always have to care about myself. At this point, I just am so angry and hurt at the world, at people. What's up? So, first of all, that video y'all just saw about me crying. I've been having a lot of triggers, bro. And I just really realized a lot about myself. I realized how sad I was. I realized how affected by a lot of things I was and you know my boyfriend I think left that day and I don't know I really don't know what exactly transpired I wish I would have been recording more up until this time but um hold on I was just really triggered and deep down inside that's how I really felt I guess my whole life I've had this hard hard ass shell and you know i don't let people in but i really just wanted to be loved and it's like but it's all the people i let in i feel like they didn't know how to love me just a whole bunch of stuff that i'm i'm gonna I'm gonna make youtube videos about each specific thing and so y'all don't worry y'all ain't miss out y'all didn't get to see it firsthand like i wish y'all could have but you know what that's that's a dub i don't care i i intend there we go i intend to vlog freaking all the time now i don't care because i be having so many revelations and and be going through so many emotional ups and downs and i want you guys to see this healing process like it's not just peaches and cream and and shit so anyway you guys want to hear some shit that happened to me so as you know i don't have an apartment right now living in airbnbs and so, like, like you guys know, we had the two rentals and shit, or the two cars. One was a rental, one was our car. 
so you know we're going to get some food i want to say this is on the 23rd or the 24th probably the 24th one of those days anyway so we go get some food and drew he looks to the right and he pauses for a second. I didn't think nothing of it, but then it clicked in his head. He was like, the car's not there. I'm like, oh shit. So we're automatically thinking it got towed, you know, because it's fucking California and they just, they love towing somebody shit, right? So we call the towing company and they're like, you know what? They didn't tow it. You might want to call Los Angeles police and, and report your car stolen. I broke down hysterically. Everything I own, you guys. Rihanna Fenty slides. I have one pair. I even left my other ones in Georgia, my white ones. So I only had my black and pink ones. Now I just have my black ones. Um, I had them shoes that she had came out. The Creepers. I had so many fucking tennis shoes, shoes, clothes from Zara. And, and I know it sounds materialistic, but um, I'm just saying, you know, like I got my makeup out because I was out. And I'm so mad I didn't even record this. I went to Danny Lee's birthday party. So hopefully i can have some type of footage I, man it's been like a good bad fucking few weeks since i put in my last vlog and i gotta get better with this because man but i got y'all i really got y'all i keep saying that but oh well i really got y'all this time and i know y'all believe me so yeah i cried and cried and cried but you know it is what it is now i don't have shit i was blessed enough to have a 25 dollar gift card from marshall so i was able to get a shirt, a tank top, because I already have black pants that I had already up in the house. Because I'm going to two modeling agencies today. Like, I don't care. Ain't nothing stopping that. So, I'm just about to go with what I got. And if they judge me, that's on them. I know I'm the shit. I know I'm the fucking prize. So, they better they better know who's walking in their building. So, yeah, you guys, I pretty much just have the makeup. I have most of my makeup. I just bought new makeup that I was about to sell, about to put on my website. All that shit is, was in the car. My birth certificate, my yearbooks. Like, a lot of things that I held dearly to my heart. Like, they're gone. But you know what? Can't shit shake me from this feeling that I'm about to make it soon. Like, I know all this. Like, I had to be stripped away because you know what? I didn't appreciate a lot of shit. I didn't make a lot of YouTube videos when I had all these clothes and makeup. When I had my apartment, I didn't do shit. Now that I don't have none of this shit, I want to do it so bad. I want to make content. I want to do my makeup. I want to make outfits of the days. Like, there's just so much shit I want to do because I can't do it now. I don't have the leisure just to wake up in my own apartment, go get all my stuff, and do it. Like, I took the shit for granted, and this is what I deserve. I do kind of deserve this because I was, I took it for granted and then I would be negative and I like you know just a lot of shit like I really needed this to humble me and I'm grateful like I'm grateful that I'm being stripped of everything I have because all I can have now is my faith and I know this is God this ain't the devil some things can happen you know you guys know I don't really literally believe that stuff but I believe in energies like I believe God is an energy and I believe there's negative energies that can make you not like yourself or other people can project that onto you. And so, you know, that that stuff, I really healed. And I think that's what this six months of being in L.A. was about, was to be like, you know what? I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this, but I do want to do this. And, you know, I want to be a really good person. Not that I'm not already, but I have a lot of pain in my heart that can probably make me into a, a bad person or do bad things or think or say bad things that I really don't want a part of me. So it was like, God, God made me see myself. God made me really face myself. And it, it's been the most humbling, intense, sad, happy. It's just been so many things, but all I can say is I'm grateful for it because I would not want to have a platform and then be influencing people in the wrong way like I need my head and my spiritual my spiritual compass to be right so I when I'm in the eyes of all these people I can lead y'all right no my I'm gonna tell everybody about my bullshit but I'm gonna tell everybody why it was wrong and how I was delivered from it so I know this is just my blessing man like I'm so grateful I'm so grateful because I know I'm gonna get everything back so much better so yeah like I said I'm still about to um I'm about to create a fucking sponsorship. I'm about to create a whole bunch of stuff. Like, I don't care. I believe in miracles, and you should too. You know? So, yeah. That's been my life.
one day I, we almost had to sleep out of the car but it didn't happen it almost happened but it didn't so but that's because um the money was taking forever to hit because i think when it gets deposited it takes another day but we thought it would be deposited right then and there so that just caused some confusion but yeah man that's my life. so i think all the agencies are closed until new year's great I went and bought all these clothes, drove all the way over here, and <sighs> it's okay, I guess. Y'all, this juice is so fucking good. Y'all, I'm so grateful for this experience because it's like everything is hitting me today, like... All these fucking revelations and, and thoughts. I needed to be here. Shit gonna get real, man. So the acting class was pretty cool. I didn't get no footage of that because the girl be slacking still. At the beach with Drew Drew. This, this dude is dope. My brother came to visit me with my Skylar. I'm making a vlog for YouTube, y'all, so. You a part of it. If you ain't got 10, we we'll accept five. If you can't afford it. And if you ain't got five, get, get a damn job. What he said. All we're asking is for you to pull out five or ten dollars out of your wallets. And what? Give, Give us, us the rest. rest. And don't come to us, we will come to you. And please do not be intimidated by our small, small black bags. We're just trying to fill them up all the stuff. All today. Oh, that shit is sexy. <laughs> I love it. Yep. So it's the 30th. Uh, we checked out the Airbnb today. I wish I would have showed you guys it. It was so lit. It was a beautiful home. But um, so today I think we're gonna be sleeping out of the car. Can you get off my stuff, boo? Um, so I think today we're gonna be sleeping out of the car again because all the Airbnbs is taken. But I know it's because it's New Year's and Christmas and people are probably traveling out here and like you know our price range for a night, you know. All of them are fucking taken. Or the ones that are available, they're far as shit. So it's just like we have no other choice, you know? We have no other choice but to do it. So then tomorrow we're going to be going to his cousin house. And yeah. So we'll spend the New Year's there. And then from the 1st to the 4th, I got modeling editions. I just got a fucking email. I told you, remember that acting class, y'all? Like, I really need a figure out if I can come up with these transits or something because I want to you know what oh well that's not my job fuck it but yeah I, I love watching the peace dealer and Amber Khan I think that's her name like their their transit information is amazing like if you want to know about astrology and, and get in tune with yourself you need to go on astro cafe look at your birth chart like it's real out here y'all it's real and it's really been helping me understand myself has really been helping me figure out why things are happening the way they're happening and it's put me at a lot more ease but anyway so I got an email and I don't know why I wanted to look in my junk email I'm so glad I did like I know this has to mean something because I don't never check my junk email but I was sitting here doing something like oh you know what like um I was trying to, I think I was making some money off this app or something. I don't know. And it was like, you have to confirm your email and it wasn't going. And so I was like, okay, let me go look at my junk email. And then all of a sudden that email from the acting class I went to was in my junk email. I'm like, bruh, why is this shit in my junk email? First of all, second of all, I had a good message at the bottom and I was like, oh, respond. So we finna see man we finna see what what's finna happen but either way i have a really good feeling like i know what i'm going through right now is crazy and i know if a person who don't fuck with me watching this they just like oh yeah she's down and you know and then i know there's the other people who are like you know praying up for me but like i read so many articles like you can look up there's so many articles about freaking famous people who who sacrificed everything they had for their dream like I don't care I am sacrificing until I make it like that is on my soul that I rather die 
and and do all this stuff than to just be in this world and not chase my dreams i'd rather sacrifice everything i have than sacrifice my dream for everything else fuck a nine to five fuck all that shit like you know you just have to know that every step of the way you're going to be provided for yeah it gets scary yeah you're like damn i don't know what the next thing is but all you can focus on is the moment right now and today and just know that your destiny i don't even fucking really fuck with law of attraction anymore because i just feel like destiny is the real thing like you i'm destined to be doing this right now i'm destined to be going through this shit i was destined to have you know negative mentalities and grow from them so i could teach y'all because when i get to where i want to get to in life everybody's gonna have so many questions and i know the way my mind breaks things down and, and the way i see things is gonna touch so many people i know god God had to put me this, in, look, look, y'all, God don't put you through stuff because God hates us or where God's punishing us. I see now if four years ago, I was where I'm at now and where I'm heading. I would fuck it up because I was immature. I had no control over my emotions. I, I had no, I didn't even know who I was and what I wanted to do and, and what type of, uh, intentions I needed to bring into this world. Like there's so much insight that I have learned that this was necessary and i'm not mad at it i'm so grateful that i'm healing and i'm I'm going through this because these these hard days and these negative negative experiences are like opening me up to the greatness like i needed god to humble me and god can humble me whenever god needs to humble me because i need it like i'm human i can get in my ego i can get arrogant i can forget sometimes i can forget to be grateful and complain and sometimes i need that slap in my face like no you know and I, i'm thankful for that because you know, that's wrong in me. That's wrong. God gives us so much every day and we just, we don't even acknowledge it. And, you know, I feel like a shitty ass person for that. So I, I thank God for everything that God is doing and, and bringing me to my lowest and showing me and stripping me of every fucking thing that I know and that I have and, and making me contradict myself and contradict myself one week. I feel this way the next week. I don't even feel that way no more. It's just so funny. Like God, God is hilarious, but you know, I love God and I love my journey and I love my path and I'm so excited to be sharing this with you guys, man. Like me in there. It's good, man. I'm gonna just come up there, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what we're looking for. All right, it's all good, man. I appreciate the effort, man. For real, I'll be there in a second. Uh huh. My man went all the way back there. Who calls and asks what type of blunts do y'all got? <laughs> well, this nigga was like, I go see. Shit, what type of blunts you need? Hold up. How easy he he'll work anyway. That's how I feel. That's how I be. Oh, damn. They on a commercial. 